Hi, I'm Bill from Superior Level, and today we're going to talk about how to check your spirit level. Now, at Superior Level, we offer a recalibration service on your spirit level. However, for it to come back, you need to know whether you've got an issue with your spirit level or not. Now, we only calibrate our own levels. However, you can use the following methods for checking whatever spirit level you have. Prior to checking your level, there's something you're going to need to do, and that is clean the blade of the level. Now, if you have dropped it, it's gonna have a burr on it. Don't try and check it with the burr. Take a file, lay it flat on the blade and remove any burrs. Now, I know this sounds obvious, but I'm just going through then with a decorator's rubbing pad and um, an abrasive is clean the blade of the level. You should do that before you use them anyway, to be honest with you, because if there's a piece of filler or whatever on the blade, it's gonna read incorrectly. Now we're in a position to check the level. Okay, so how to check your spirit level. First of all, we're gonna check the horizontal. Before I do that, just wanna quickly talk about the vial, what's in there. These are all spirit level vials, and whatever level you're checking, it will contain one of these or something very similar. Now these all have something in common. Now this is a glass vial, but it shows perfectly the curve of the vial. Now the proprietary acrylic vials, which most construction levels will have in, they all have a curve inside and there's a top and a bottom to the vial. So it's important when you're checking your level, you've got it the right way up. I know that sounds obvious, but some people do try and turn them up the other way. You're gonna need a couple of things to check your spirit level. You're gonna want a flat, clean area. You can just put a mark on. Uh, so if you're working in a kitchen and you wanna just quickly check your level, a worktop is fine. You're gonna want a few packers because if it isn't level, you're gonna to want to just put some packers in underneath the spirit level. And you're gonna want a, a marker, pencil, your cell phone. Some post-it labels are the best, but some labels. And I'll explain why we need those in a minute. Put the spirit level onto the flat area and we need to centralize the bubble. This is a marking out table in our workshop. It isn't level. So what I've done is I've got a couple of packers to bring the vial somewhere near within the lines. Now, now I've marked on our surface table where the end of the spirit level is in at the minute, and that gives me a reference point. So we've got our torch on. Why do we have the stickers on the back of our phone? I've diffused the light. When you check a level, if you have uh, an LED behind it, parallax can occur with your eyes and the acrylic, and that means it's distorted by the light that you're using. So you want a backlight with a diffused lighter, and that's just to help you to look at the vial. Pretty much centered that. It doesn't have to be precisely in the center, because what we're gonna do, and what we're looking for, is we're gonna rotate the level. We're gonna line up on that line again. We're back on the packers at the other end, and everything's the same, we've just rotated it. And we're gonna check the vial again. Now, if it reads the same as it did the first time round, your level is correct. In this instance, the level rotated uh, and everything was good, we're quite happy with that. All things have a tolerance to them, so our spirit level or anybody's spirit level will have a tolerance and a sensitivity. The vials that we use are very sensitive vials. Sheet of paper, what I'm gonna do is fold this, and I'm gonna fold it so we have four thicknesses of paper. It's actually 0.4 of a mil. If you put this under one end of the spirit level, you can now see that the vial and the bubble within the vial has moved considerably. Now what this allows us to do is check if there is an error in the spirit level what it is over its length. Two sheets of paper is 0.2 of a millimeter. One sheet of paper is 0.1 of a millimeter over the length of the spirit level. Having checked the horizontal, we're now gonna check vertical or the plumb. Any vertical surface, it, again, it doesn't have to be level. What we need to do is mark just for a reference point so that we can pick it up in the same position. We hold the level in tight, the blade's clean, we've got our reference point. We put the diffused light behind and we look through and check to see where the bubble is within the vial. Now, if it's slightly off, it makes no difference, but you're looking for the same error when you rotate it. Or you can put packers in to pack it into the vertical. Sheets of paper, keep those in the same place and then rotate the level through 180 and using the diffuse light behind it, check the position of the bubble 
within the vial. Even if there's an error in what you're checking, it should still read the same if the level's correct. If the level isn't correct, you can have different readings. And what you then need to do is, as we did on the horizontal, is use some paper to check the error within it, because we are gonna ask that question if it's a superior level that you're checking. If it's uh, another branded level, then they have different tolerances and they also have different sensitivities on the vials. Superior levels are available on our website. You can see our complete range of spirit levels and they're available to buy.